Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will make the Barbie violinist dress. And this one is part of my Barbie musician outfit collection. So I made this uh, elegant dress for her concert performance. And we'll make the dress in three steps. It's all worked in rows from top to bottom. We start with the top and the waistband here. Then second step is to make the skirt with a lace pattern. And then the finishing, we will do the top edge here and so on the snaps so i wanted to use uh, snaps instead of buttons for this dress i just uh, think it looks better like this and in my video tutorial i'm using different color of thread because it's easier uh, to follow than the red color and that way you'll see the dress how it looks in different colors and I would say this is uh, for intermediate skill level the stitches are not difficult but we are working with the fine thread and hook so uh, it may need a little bit more skill and experience I use uh, DMC pearl cotton thread. It is size 8. This color is called light antique violet. One ball has 10 grams in it. And I like this thread for a Barbie dress because it's uh, kind of uh, shiny and soft. And um, I use almost all of this. Just want to show you, I made a dress uh, in red. And this is how much I have left of the ball. And you also need a um, contrast color. This is black, also size 8. Just for those two rows on waistband. I need two tiny snaps found the smallest sew on snaps in the store and the size it says here is three slash zero two of these for the back closure my crochet hook is 1.75 millimeters and you'll need sewing needle to sew on the snaps and let's get started I start with my main color we work the dress from top to bottom and we start with the dress top. First thing to do, make a slip knot and then chain 48. And we're going to make extended single crochet stitches for the dress top uh, 47 so we start with a second chain from hook so insert hook in that second chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through first two loop then yarn over again and pull through two loops. This is the extended single crochet stitch. And same. Go in the next chain, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through first loop, yarn over, pull through two loops.
and now repeat and make 47 of these finished first row so the top is worked in rows and we're going to decrease the stitches on every other row so already on a second row we're going to do let's see chain first then turn and we're going to do two single crochets together the usual single crochets so insert hook in our first stitch pull up loop then insert hook in the next stitch pull up loop then yarn over, pull through three loops. Now continue with the extended single crochets. In the next stitch, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through first loop, and over, pull through two loops. Continue these extended stitches until last two stitches on this row and in last two stitches again we'll do two single crochets together pull up loop in first stitch pull up loop in second stitch pull through three loops and hook on the third row we will just do uh, all extended single crochets so on a, on this second row because we decreased two stitches we have 45 starting row three chain one turn and make extended single crochet stitches without decreasing you have also 45 here the piece is uh, curly on these early rows uh, next row four again we decrease chain one and turn and in first two stitches make two single crochets together insert hook in first pull up loop insert hook in second pull up loop then pull through three loops continue with extended single crochets until last two stitches last two stitches here two single crochets together and as we decreased two stitches we have 43 stitches now Next is row five, chain one, turn, and just do 43 single extended single crochet stitches. Now repeat these two rows three more times. Next is row six. Uh, decreasing in the beginning and the end of row two single crochets together and you have total 41 stitches then row 7 you do just extended single crochet stitches also 41 and then on the eighth you decrease again you have 39 stitches on a row 9 just extended single crochets 39 stitches on row 10 decrease one more time end of and beginning and end of row 
you have total of 37 stitches then row 11 you just do the extended single crochets 37 and then let's continue together on row 12. I have finished uh, 11 rows I have 37 stitches and we'll make one more row 12 also 37 no decreasing chain and extended single crochet stitches and when finished with this row i'm going to pull this loop bigger and fasten off but i don't want to cut off because we're going to make only two rows with contrast color and then continue with the main you can cut off to weave in ends later if you prefer and using my black thread and make a slip knot I'm going to join it here in this first stitch and we're going to make regular single crochet stitches with a second color thread and just make one single crochet in each stitch also have 37 And after that first row, I'm going to make second row also with my black chain one and again single crochet one in each stitch. Finished uh, second row with second color thread now we'll cut off and fasten off and we can now start with the dress skirt I'm going to bring back my main color here And I will join it, uh, insert hook through that last stitch, then pull your first color through it. Make one chain, then turn. And here we start the lace pattern of the skirt. First stitch in a, is a single crochet. Next is double crochet in the next stitch. Now chain one and make second double crochet in the same stitch. Now skip next st stitch, this one, and single crochet in the next. In the next stitch, again, two double crochet one chain and second double crochet all in one stitch S uh, skip next stitch this one single crochet in the next and this repeats double crochet chain and double crochet in the next stitch skip next this one and single crochet in the next double crochets with one chain skip this and single crochet in the next 
and repeat I have two stitches left on this row I did my last double crochets here and when you count you have 12 of these double crochet parts and the last stitch again we skip this next one and then single crochet in a last stitch so now I'm going to join bring the beginning of the row or the other end next to the last stitch I'm going to join it here into the ring but we are still going to work in rows uh, back and forth because um, this lace pattern just doesn't work uh, crocheting in rounds so we have to do rows at the same time I want to join these rows each time I finish them to join I simply slip stitch in this first single crochet that we did on this row and starting the second row of uh, lace chain one and now we turn so we are gonna work back here and here on the second row we're going to skip this single crochet the last one we did then go into the one chain space this is the first one here between these two double crochets make single crochet and now skipping double crochet you see the next single crochet here insert your hook in it and we're going to do the double crochet chain double crochet in it then go again into this one chain space here between double crochets insert hook here and make single crochet and again you see that next single crochet here I'm going to make my double crochet chain and double crochet in it and this repeats make single crochet in this next one chain space and make double crochets with one chain in the next single crochet single crochet and double crochets chain one between and repeat this till the end of row we'll do the end together again and here I did my last single crochet here in these were the last double crochets on the previous row this is the next single crochet I will make my last double crochets in it and now if you look closely here you see this is your single crochet the first one you made on this row so insert your hook and slip stitch and starting row three chain and turn so 
So we start and end each row now the same way. Again, go into this next one chain space here between double crochets and make first single crochet. Now to add the lacy look to this stitch, after each single crochet, we're going to pull up a longer loop. So this is my row three and I'm going to pull up the loop, let's say about twice the size as the usual loop. Not too long, but about like that. And then go to this next single crochet, make the double crochet, chain, double crochet. Then go to the one chain space, make the single crochet. Again, after the single crochet, pull up a bit longer loop, like that. Yarn over, go to the next single crochet here, make the double crochets. And there's my one chain space, make single crochet in it. Again, pull up longer loop. Yarn over, go to the single crochet, next one chain space, make single crochet, pull up longer loop, over, find your next single crochet right here, make now repeat this So I'm at the end of this row, made the last single crochet, pull up longer loop. And this last single crochet to make the double crochets, it's tucked here tight, so it might be harder to see, but I still need to make these last double crochets, chain between. And then find your single crochet that you started this row with. It's right here. And make a slip stitch. We can start next row. So with these uh, longer loops, we are gradually going to make them bigger and bigger. Uh, not on each row. Uh, I will make a couple of more rows with this same size of loops so that um, I can create my skirt in a shape. So let's see. So it's going to be row four. Chain one and turn. And first thing again is to make the single crochet in this first one chain space. Then pull up your longer loop. I'll do about the same size as on the previous row. And continue. Double crochets. Here's the one chain space single crochet longer loop, double crochets. And continue with row four, 
last single crochet longer loop and here is that single crochet I will make last double crochets and slip stitch in here that's the first single crochet finished row 4 I'm going to make total of 24 rows uh, for the skirt part next two rows 5 and 6 I'm going to make this loop long loop about the same as previously not longer not yet so chain turn and start the same single crochet in one chain space then the longer loop double crochets in one single crochet single crochet in chain space longer loop and double crochets with one chain between so now make rows five and six like that now six rows are completed for the next six rows I keep repeating the same pattern the stitches are the same but I'm going to make that long loop slightly longer so here I did slip stitch to finish row six chain turn same way single crochet in the next one chain space and now the loop a little bit longer than before but then continue the same single crochet stitch we make double crochets one chain between single crochet in one chain space and again the loop a little longer than before so this way you can adjust these uh, loops and how the skirt will look like at the end so um, I like to lengthen it gradually um, so to get the A shape of the skirt so I'm gonna do the next six uh, rows now I'll show you how it looks So this is how it looks uh, with 12 rows finished. And uh, 12 more. So next six rows again, make the, this long loop a little longer single crochet and a long loop I would say this is probably the length of three usual loops And single crochet and the loop again and I will make six more rounds like the uh, rows rather like this and this is uh, 18 rows completed and I'm going to make six more. So 
start the same just finish the last row here chain one turn make the single crochet and now I'm gonna make the longest loop And I would say this is about nine millimeters long if you want to measure it. But I don't measure each of these, I just guess. Try to make them about the same each time. But this is the this is my longest loop, and I'm gonna make six rows like that Now my 24 rows of skirt are finished. I cut off the thread and fasten off. Next, I want to weave in this beginning end here so we can uh, finish the dress with top edge and sewing on the snaps. First we'll make the top edge uh, and I leave about 15 inch tail so I can use this later to sew on the snaps. Make a slip knot. Now Dress is right side out here. This is my right upper corner. I'm going to join. Here are the loops of the foundation chains that, that I started with. Here's the first one. And I'm just going to join my thread with slip stitch. And I'm going to make a total of slip 16 slip stitches first, so 15 more. Here's the second, third, Count 16 slip stitches. And now in the next stitch, I'm going to make one single crochet. Next is one half double crochet. And next, I'm going to make double crochet in each next. Three. One, two, three, then one half double crochet in the next, and one single crochet in the next. Then one slip stitch in the next. And repeat one single crochet, one half double crochet, three double crochets one 
one half double crochet one single crochet and now 16 slip stitches Finished with 16 slip stitches and again I'm going to measure a longer tail here about 15 in 15 16 inches and I'm gonna use this tail also to sew on the snaps on this side. Now fasten off. And last thing, the snaps. I'm gonna start with a tail that I just cut off. So on the back, it's the right side. And this will go on top of the left side you can also do it the other way around it really doesn't matter whichever way you prefer uh, the one that goes on top I'm gonna use the the pointy part of the snap so that one then it's here and I can push it in the hole of the other half of the snap later I'm gonna just place it here inside in a corner And when done with stitching the second one, just weave in this end here. And now using that uh, other long tail, going to sew on the second half of snaps. So these will go on outside here to match that other half so you can just try this will go right in here when finished
Now my snaps are done. Let's see how they work. Looks great. Now just weave in the rest of the tails. And here is my finished dress. And I really like this color on her. And this is uh, why the DMC Pearl Cotton Braid is so great. They have uh, many different uh, beautiful colors in their collection to choose from. So I hope you have fun making this dress for your Barbie. You will find the link to written pattern uh, in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.